I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be great. But not like I anticipated, man. It went way over. Down in the crap game, a losing at the left. No hope in the Kino card, it's all I ever get. I've been called a natural lover by some ladies over there. But I'm just a natural loser, and I try to do my share. Go down, gambling. Singing when you're running low. Go down, gambling. You need never have to go, 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 go. go. I saw some linkage between the white to black. I saw it out in the fire basin. Huh? I really did. The relationship to black to white in the military, in terms of advancement, in terms of what you can do if you really want to do it, is maybe 40% better than in the civilian life. I mean that. The problem is that nobody wants to be in the military. No matter how groovy it is, I don't care how long they let you cut your hair or how big a do you wear. You get to Las Vegas again and go buy Kimo's dress shop. Yeah. You say hello to my old lady for me, man. What's her name? Renee. 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 Okay. I will. I will. Thank you. I will. Well, I'll be there March 15th. Hey. Hi, this is Bob Hope with the USO Story. For anybody who tuned in late and missed the first 30 years, stick around. There's more to come. Actually, I've got a special warm spot for the USO. We both started working for people in uniform about the same time, 1941. And we both covered a lot of ground since then. I've been on the road so much, when I get a letter from my wife, it starts out, Dear Sir, but you may not know that the USO is serving more guys and gals in uniform in more locations today than ever before. In an average month, something like three million service people visit the USO facilities around the world. That kind of service takes a lot of people, and most of them are unpaid. Volunteers, about 160,000 of them. What started it all was a thing called World War II, and another thing that went with it, called the draft. Qualifications were strict. If you could hear thunder and see lightning, and had two teeth that hit, raise your right hand and repeat after me. The result was hundreds of thousands of new people in uniform. They had a huge job ahead of them. And where they were going, they'd need all the support the American people could give them. They got it. And one way they got it was the USO. It had just come into being, but it soon got into high gear. The USO brought the stars to the desert of North Africa and into the Pacific. With so many GIs to be reached, they couldn't be particular. They'd sign up anybody. There are many ways of spending a Sunday afternoon in Philadelphia. And one of them is at the National League Ballpark, where the Philadelphia Phillies play. As part of the afternoon program of recreational activities on Religious Emphasis Day, the ball game with Cincinnati was a popular attraction for servicemen and their enthusiastic hosts. Among the dozens of churches and synagogues in Philadelphia, are many whose histories parallel that of the city far into colonial days. One of these is the Mikveh Israel Congregation, the second oldest synagogue in the United States. Founded in 1740, Mikveh Israel was the congregation of Haim Solomon, revolutionary war hero who spent his fortune and his life on the cause of freedom.